up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl hypnotic lady and i am back with another hair tutorial today i will be showing you guys how i got this look right here y'all get into this lace honey matter of fact find the lace honey because it ain't no lace it ain't one you already know i'm rebecca today but if you guys want to see how i got this look right here please stay tuned don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. The company I will be working with today is Yalissa Hair. Here I'm showing you guys the box and what came inside. It came with a 26-inch wig, a wig cap, an elastic band. I also got this cute little silk tie bag that you can store your wig in. And it also came with a silk head scarf or head wrap so you can set your baby hairs with that. And of course it came with maintenance on how to take care of your wig. This is the wig. This is a 13 by 6, 26 inch lace front wig. It is 150 density. It does come with combs and adjustable straps. The lace is transparent as you guys can see. Now, first thing I'm going to do is clean the perimeter of my forehead. Y'all, as you guys can see, my hair has grown so much. So I wanted to show you guys how I lay my hair down necessarily um, up under my wigs. I just wanna show you guys that I got all the excess makeup off. Now I'm going to take some got to be glue um, in the yellow bottle and just slick my hair back. Um, I don't necessarily slick it all back. I just slick back really the front of my hair just to make sure it's super, super flat. And then I'm just going to take a hair tie and pull it back and then go from there. Once I got my hair tied back, um, I attempted to put on a stocking cap and as you guys are going to see, I'm going to go ahead and put makeup um, and I'm just taking this concealer palette I got from my local beauty spa store and a makeup brush that I've had for years. <laughs> And I'm just going to put makeup on the stocking cap and then on the perimeter of my hairline and a little bit on my edges. Um, it's just makeup, so when you wash your hair, it will come out. But yeah, I'm just going to put the makeup on the hair like so. I end up taking the cap off, which you guys will see in the video later on. I just wanted to show you guys so you could see where I started the process and then how it ended. Once I got all that makeup on, um, I tried the wig on just to see if everything looked all right. And it did look like everything was blending and um, everything was seamless. As you guys can see, the lace is super, super transparent, which I love, love it. So I could see my wig cap though, like, like I said. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go in and take some more makeup and I'm just taking excess makeup that was on my brush and just putting that on the rest of my hair and I'm just gonna put the wig back on so you can't see the stocking cap anymore. Now, if you do have dark hair, um, I do recommend making sure you tuck all your hair, but here I'm just parting so you guys can see that you can't see the wig cap anymore and this is a 13 by 6 so you can do deep side parts and deep middle parts if you wanted to now i'm just going to go ahead and cut off my ear tabs on each side to make sure everything lays flat and then we're going to get ready to install got to be glued yellow bottle I'm just gonna take a little bit and just put that on the perimeter of my hairline and then I'm going to go over that with some got to be free spray 
Um, I just wanted something quick and easy. I wasn't planning on wearing this wig super, super long. So that's why I went in with the got to be. I feel like the glue is not necessary, especially with um, wigs that already fit. And this wig sure did fit snug. It was like a cap size small slash medium. And then it also came with adjustable straps. And of course I adjusted those. So it fit pretty snug. And then all I needed was a little bit of gel to hold it down. So I'm just gonna do that like so. Now I'm just going to take my blow dryer on low heat and just blow that until it is to a tacky substance. Um, you're just going to want to touch it with your finger to feel if it's tacky enough. And once you like the consistency, consistency, I'm sorry, you can go ahead and press down the lace. Now here I'm going ahead and pressing down the lace and I'm just making sure I bring the lace up to where I put the glue and I'm going to take my rat tail comb to kind of melt the lace into the um, adhesive or gel, whichever one you want to call it, whatever. But yeah, once I like the way that's look, I'm going to go in with my got to be free spray on top of that and I'm going to use my blow dryer and my rat tail comb at the same time. I kind of find that this method helps make the lace melt into the skin more um, and you don't have to do as much work, but yeah. <laughs> Once everything is dry, you want to go ahead and cut off your excess lace. You can use scissors or an eyebrow razor. Um, I use both in this video, actually. I started off with my scissors and then they were kind of getting a little dull. So I used my eyebrow razor and you can use either or, it doesn't really matter. Um, one thing I can say, just be careful not to cut off too much lace because like if you did have a wig cap on you would be able to see your cap up under that or say if you don't have a wig cap on and you have your edges if you cut off too much lace you'll be able to see your natural hair and that is a big no-no Now I'm just going to go back in with my got to be free spray and just the areas where the lace wasn't completely laid down. I'm just going to take my rat tail comb and my blow dryer and just press everything down to make sure everything looks seamless, nice and neat. Y'all, I'm in love with this hairline. Like this wig came fresh out of the box. I did not pluck it. I did not have to bleach the knots, of course, because it is 613. But like, I love 613 hairlines because they already becoming pre-plucked. Now I'm just going to take um, the same concealer palette that I used earlier to put um, on my hair up under my wig. I'm just gonna put that on the perimeter of the lace to make sure everything is blended. As, like, here is I am going in with the eyebrow razor again as you guys can see just cutting off the other side and you want to repeat the same process until you cut all of the excess lace off. <music> Once that is done, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into styling. I'm going to go ahead and do me a middle part. I love a middle part with some blonde hair. I'm just gonna take this wax stick here that I got from my local beauty supply store and my hot comb. You just wanna put a little bit of that on your hair. You don't wanna like too much because it's gonna look greasy and heavy, but yeah. Get your wax stick, um, make your part, and then we're going to go in and press out the hairline with our hot comb. Once you are satisfied with that, we will get into the rest of the styling.
To define my part, I'm going to go back in with the same concealer palette. And I'm just going to take this thin um, eyeliner or concealer brush. I really don't know which one. And just take some concealer and put it into my part to make sure everything is blended evenly and it doesn't look super ashy up top. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to take out some little sideburns. And with 613 hair, I really don't really like to wear um, baby hairs because I'm already light skinned. So when I wear blonde hair and I do baby hairs, you can't even really see the edges anyway. So like I said, I'm just going to go in and make some semi-long sideburns just so I could do like a pullback motion how my hair is now. I love it. Y'all get into this lace. This is how long it is on me. I am five foot even, and this is 26 inches. I just wanted to show you guys completely stretched out how long it is. It is super, super long. Now we are going to go ahead and press it out, and the only product I'm going to put in the hair is a little bit of heat protectant spray, and I'm just going to take my silk pressing comb that I got from my local beauty supply store and my straightener. This straightener is um, the Babyless Pro Ceramic straightener you can do barrel curls and wand curls with this straightener but it is also perfect for straightening your hair i use this all the time on my weave and um, on my natural hair when i do wash and blow and press it out it works wonders as you guys can see i'm only going through the hair once maybe twice but the first time it's already pressing out like y'all this hair is bomb your list of hair y'all did that <laughs> is the finished look y'all get into it get into it again this is yolissa hair this is their 613 13 by 6 lace front unit it does come in 26 inches with 150 density if you guys did like this tutorial please like comment and subscribe and i hope to see you guys on my next video bye Mwah.